Network 13 in the top block shows an integer add block and a multiply block in ladder logic for reference. Network 12 in the lower block shows the equivalent statement list code. The check of the OV bit is to check for math overflow. The save, clear, and check of the BR bit is the equivalent of the enable out for the add block. This calculation adds two numbers and multiplies the result by 7. If your numeric values and calculation is such that it's not necessary to check for overflows, this code can be written much simpler in STL and is shown in Network 13 of the bottom block. Load Memory Word 300, then Load Memory Word 302. An S7300 processor has two accumulators and both have been loaded, so next we do the first math instruction. Sum these numbers as integers. This is denoted in STL, S plus I. Since the sum of these two numbers is in accumulator 1, there's no need to store it anywhere. Load the value 7 and multiply as integers. This is denoted in STL with asterisk followed by I. Now transfer the final result to memory word 306. When STL monitoring is turned on, the default display is hexadecimal. Let's change it to decimal. Right click in the accumulator 1 column named standard. Select representation and then choose decimal. Let's go ahead and set Accumulator 2's display to decimal as well. Memory Word 300 has loaded the value 4000 into Accumulator 1. Memory Word 302 has loaded the value 200 into Accumulator 1 and the value 4000 bumps over to accumulator 2. Plus I sums the two accumulators together and stores the result 4200 in accumulator 1. A special note here is this code is being tested using the software simulation PLC Sim which clears accumulator 2 whenever a math operation takes place. In a real-world CPU the value 4000 would still be in accumulator 2. The value 7 is loaded to accumulator 1 and the previous sum is bumped into accumulator 2. Multiply as integers multiplies the sum by 7 and stores the result in accumulator 1. The result is then transferred to memory word 306. As noted earlier, Network 13 in the bottom block does not check for math overflows. For this demonstration, Memory Word 300 contains the value 4000 and Memory Word 302 contains the value 30,000. The sum of these is 34,000, which is above the integer range of 32,767, and a math overflow has occurred. Let's add the status and the result of logic columns to the monitoring view. In Network 12 of the bottom block, the overflow bit is true. The AND NOT instruction is a normally closed instruction, so the result of that logic is zero. The save command writes the RLO, in this case zero, to the binary result or BR bit. The CLR or clear command clears the RLO and is a standard command used after the save command. The and BR bit checks to see if the binary result bit is one and it's not. The JNB command means if binary result is not true, 
jump to the label underscore zero zero one. Therefore, the multiplication block will not be executed because of the math overflow. The code in network 12 of the bottom block was auto generated from the ladder logic network in the top block. As a programmer, if your math logic needs overflow checks, you can write the logic in a number of different ways. This concludes the video on Integer Math.